let's play Aster. I know we don't have any protection for him. Batterbone gives us lifelink, but we can do this little number here. So we do this. Boom. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's MTG Gnome here. And today we're gonna to be talking about Aster, Bearer of Blades. This one was pretty exciting to make. If you love equipment commanders, if you love vehicle commanders, this is the guy for you. The only thing that sucks about Aster is he's not blue because we can't play the blue vehicles. But besides that, the rest of the deck is pretty fun. I can only imagine what a commander deck would bring. Let's get right into the deck. Obviously you wanna run all the good equipment, all the good vehicles. We're running Sword of Body and Mind. Nettle Cyst, Cultivator's Caravan, Sky Sovereign, Console Flagship, Helm of the Host, Ember Cleave, you know the deal. And obviously we're running Colossus Hammer. There's plenty of other good equipment in the deck. You just have to see for yourselves. There's other cards in the deck that actually support the equipment game plan, like Akiri, Fighter Class, Forging the Tyrite Sword, and Havar, God of Battle, or you can play his equipment side, the Sword of the Realms. And there's gonna be times when you just don't draw any equipment or you don't draw your removal that you need. Our deck isn't so focused on removal spells, so you will get into that situation where you need a removal spell or you need a board wipe and you just don't have it. So that's why this deck is just a template. You can take cards out, feel free to move everything around and take out what you feel needs to be taken out. That's pretty much the deck, guys. If you guys like the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. And if you guys wanna make an Aster deck in real life, hit that TCG player affiliate link down below. When you guys check out, I'll just get a small kickback, so it's totally free. And so with all that out the way, let's get into the deck and let's see how the deck does, shall we? I really like having the Heliod's Intervention against Ghost Shintai, but this is not going to cut it, man. It's a little bit better. Not by much, though. Right, we're going to do that. We're going to do this. We have plenty of land for the next few turns. Set this has to die, right? So we kill it. Set this just, I mean, all, all the cards that Goshintai plays that gives him card advantage is just absolutely insane. Like, you gotta kill those cards because you, you don't want. Goshen tied the game to draw more cards than because once they run out of gas like once they stop drawing their shrines then it's it's a wrap but the thing that makes Goshen Tai so good is that it's not just shrines that make Goshen Tai good it's enchantments like nest like this this gives him so much like this filters his deck gets the gets the lands out of his deck that's so good, man. We're gonna play the batter bone. And then we're gonna play Aster next turn or we're gonna equip the Helm of the Host to the Aster. That way we can unequip it to give it indestructible if we need to with the Akiri. But I'm also gonna equip the Akiri with the batter bone. Absolutely, absolutely insane value with the Nessian Wander. No attacks, huh? Are you that afraid? Let's get the Bank Buster. We can draw his cards. That's equipped. That, and we equip the Akiri. this um I could swing he's not gonna block with the Goshen tie yeah he's already got the value from Nessie and Wander now my goal is to just protect one of these because we can give we can give one of them indestructible with the mana that we have this is when things get really hairy. We don't draw any removal spell. All we draw was all we drew was rip apart to kill a Sithus. Can you imagine if you had the Sithus with all this? Alright. 
Starfield Mystic. Oh, he's going to get the cards out of his hand. Oh, the Honed In. That's going to get rid of our whole hand. The Honed In of Knight's Reach. Um, I got the Bank Blaster, but now I kind of want to get rid of it. Can I play the Kyrian and, and the Black Blade Reforged and equip them all to Akiri? So let's do that. Let's do that. I'm going to give Akiri flying. Equip it with the Black Blade Reforged. We are going to lose whatever we put here, right? So, if anything, I guess the Skyclave. But we can play, I mean, we can play it, but we're going to be... Like, if he plays a Binding of the Old Gods and targets one of our, like, targets Aster. The thing is, though, we have Asters on the field now, so we don't need our commander, right? He, he'd have to play a board wipe to protect his things. So I guess we can bet, we can bet on that then. Let's do this. Team Pennant gives trample. The Shadow Spirit gives trample on lifelink. Yes. That's what I wanted him to do. I wanted him to use some of those shrines to block. We're gonna play the Shadow Spear. We get rid of our whole hand. So now we're at a severe disadvantage. The bad thing here is that if he played something to destroy the Akiri or like a board wipe and he he can just replay his commander next turn, he really wouldn't be out much. He can bring Sithis back, I think. I think he has a mana for it. Holding him cleansing fire, okay. No way, bro. Damn, he really had that. So now he's going to gain six life. Can we kill him? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we can kill him. Put it on the cutie. Goes to 11. And that is GG's. Get out of here, Go Shintai. That's what I'm talking about, baby. And that is the power of Aster, man. Opponent goes first, mono black. I don't think if I don't think I can count on having Shram out to draw a card when we play our equipment. Can I? Ooh, it's a big risk. It's a really big risk. Maybe not. Maybe he's playing Shadowborn Apostle Tabarex. Tell me he has all Shadowborn Apostles. I'm gonna be upset. No, no way. Like, no way he has every Shadowborn Apostle in his deck. I mean, he still has to. He has to get the creature, right? Can we draw a card? Can we draw a red source? There we go. We did it. Get out of here, Tabrax. Yeah, I think he was going to draw like six cards because six clerics would have died with the Tabrax. He's not going to block. I should have attacked the first turn too. There it is. Good thing I got rid of the Tabrax. Because he would have drew... Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, put a plus one plus one counter on Tabarax. If that creature was a cleric, you may draw a card. So he would he would have drew six cards by sacrificing his six clerics here. We can play the Cleansing Nova. This is the problem with Shadowborn Apostle decks. Is that they go get one demon. Right? That's fine with me because we were going to... We were going to uh, probably destroy Shram anyway. You know, if we could draw land, that'd be great. Let's play the forging. 
What does it say? Pay four energy. Put the target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. When Demon of Dark Schemes enters the battlefield, all the creatures get minus two until on the turn. Whenever another creature dies, you get energy. Okay. Uh, we're going to pass. So this is just a janky deck, right? Just a really janky deck. No way this is real. We're gonna play Farewell. All graveyards, all creatures. Let's get those graveyards out of there. Is a Yar a cleric? No, she's an elf noble. Karn Silex. Karn Silex is good. Uh, let's go get the Colossus Hammer. Let's play the Skyclave Apparition. We can get rid of the Karn Silex. Let's play the Colossus Hammer. This is just a janky deck. I didn't expect to lose this one. I'm surprised he's still in it, to be honest. And that's when he quits. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not so sure about Shadowborn Apostle decks unless they're combo. This did not seem to be that combo. Okay, we're up against Yark again. I don't know if I like this hand. One red source with an Ember Cleave. And eh, it's Mulligan. I think we could do better. Uh, that's a little bit better. Alright. Temple of Triumph. Mm, let's throw that to the bottom. There's the ramp. Let's do the Mindstone. So is this the Allruns Epiphany or is it a Solid coming? I'm not entirely sure. Let's play the gate. Then we'll play the Colossal Plow. Here comes Yark. We're gonna swords it. It's where this thing belongs. This absolute Scary looking thing. Let's play Aster. Oh, Sword of Body and Mind. That's really good. We're going to crew this. Going to swing. Gain some life. Get some mana. We're going to play the Horde Hauler. Quadrix Cultivator. He wants to ramp. He missed his land drops the last two or three turns. I think it was just one turn. Alright, let's do this. We're going to play... Let's play Nettlesis. Because we can tap the... I mean, uh, we, yeah, we can crew the these things with the Nettlesis. I could put the nettle cyst thing onto the colossal plow, but that would just that would just kill this. I might need this nettle cyst creature to to crew these things if he if he decides to get rid of Aster. Oh man, if we had another red, we could have ember cleaved. I tapped wrong. We would have had it. All right. Let's play the sword. And we'll pass. I mean, I knew he would block the Colossal Plow with the Quadrant Cultivator. No, that's the absolute worst thing that he could have gotten. If I were you, I'd... Yeah, that's bad. That's really bad. 
Do we have the mana for the emergence call? Yeah, I think we do. Oh, then Danitha's really good. Yeah, let's do that. Put the Ember Cleave on the battlefield, baby. Wait, I thought Ember Cleave. Oh, Ember Cleave doesn't give haste. I thought it gave haste for some reason. I was wrong. Let's get rid of Liliana. It's gonna be annoying. You know what? I'm not even. I'm not even gonna. I don't want to waste this treasure, just in case if we have to use the Marius call. And that's GG's. I guess he missed his land drops. He's missing his land drops hard. Lysa, Forgotten Archangel. Land, land, land. No double red. Yeah, let's keep it. Could be really bad. Could be pretty good. I'm gonna go get a red with this Fable Passage, though. Lysa's really good. It's, it's a really underrated commander. You do have to get rid of it, or it does become an issue. But once you get rid of it, you don't have to worry about his things coming back. Pay three life. Let's thrilling discovery. Buried ruin and rip apart. No, let's keep rip apart. Let's get rid of a Kiri, maybe. Yeah. Okay. We might need a carry, but that's okay. Let's play this gate. Play the arcane signet. Play the colossus hammer. Daxos was pretty good, but all Daxos does for you is gain you life. When your creatures come back, you can abuse like ETBs with Lysa. I have a Lysa deck. It's against MTG Josh, if you guys don't know. But I have a Lysa deck. Showcases the deck. It's pretty damn solid. You can abuse ETB triggers, you can abuse death triggers. Let's play the Ganjo as it's our only land. Let's play the Sword of the Realms. I'm gonna play the Reckoner Bankbuster. Celebrant. Oh, is this Aristocrats? Aristocrat Laisa? Leaving up two mana. Why are you leaving up two mana for, man? Let's... Let's draw a card. Temple. Let's rip apart the Cruel Celebrant, because that's going to be an issue. It's fine by me. Demo Fighter Class. I kind of want to go get... Uh, Mirror Shield. So he can't target our Aster. Yeah, let's do that. Although Shadow Spear would have been good too because we would have got Trample with the plus 10 plus 10. Kind of... It's kind of nuts. Oh, the sky clays. That's really good. Uh, I'll keep that on top. Let's play Aster. Batterbone. Oh, I can't play the Mirror Shield. That's right. Because the Temple came in tap, so can't do that. So we do this. And I guess we do this. Since there's nothing else we can do. Yeah. That's kind of a... Uh, that's a really underwhelming turn. Because he can just destroy with Aster, but... Ooh. It's a free bonder. Gets rid of the mirror shield. Or Batterbone. Batterbone is lifelink, so...
But I guess if we don't have a creature to lifelink with the batter bone, I guess it won't matter. Bastion of Remembrance. So he doesn't have a removal spell then. Which is great. Oh, he gets rid of our gate. I'm fine with that. Get a red just in case we get Ember Cleave. Yeah, we can't block. So let's play the batter bone. We're about to gain a ton of life. Play the mirror shield. And let's swing. So that's really good that we gain that much life because we were kind of getting ping for our life total. Valakut Awakening. So if the next card that we draw is not useful, we can just Valakut Awakening and draw two cards. Two cards, three mana. Not that bad. This is the only problem with a Lysa deck is they tend to run out of cards because there's not a lot of card draw. So you have to make sure that you put card draw into your Lysa deck. Any kind of way. That means like... Uh, Maze Mind Tome. Some other things. Uh, let's, we'll give it flying. So let's play that. Let's play that. We're going to equip it. Well, I should have drew a card first with the Bank Buster. Let's get rid of the Valakut Awakening. Play that for the land, we're gonna draw a card. The next turn we can sack this to go get a Oh. That's really good. See? I should have waited. Well I would have drew that first, right? I would have drew the ox guard armory first and then I would have drawn the helm of the host. And that's gonna be game. Opponent could not stop our onslaught of Big Aster. Okay, we're up against Shesra, Death's Whisper. I think I like this hand. It's pretty great. I haven't seen too much of this commander. I don't think it's that powerful. I could be wrong. We're going to see. Let's play the Arcane Signet. Next turn we'll play the Cultivator's Caravan. Let's play, if we play this and we play the Caravan, we, we tapped out pretty much. If we play the Inventor Sphere, then we play the Caravan, we'll set two mana available, which we can't do two mana with anything, so let's just play this. We'll play the Caravan. Jukai Liberator. Seek a land or non land. Guess he doesn't need land. Topiary Stomper. That's really good. That goes and gets him a land. Alright, we could Cleansing Nova here. We could also just play one of our equipments. Cultivator's Caravan is a crew three, so we could play Ambergris. Yeah, let's do that. We do that, crew the caravan. Then we swing with the caravan. And we'll do this. It's gonna make him think about what to do now. 15 life from 25, pretty scary. Blizzard Brawl, okay. K 
kills the Amber Gris. Sounds like uh, we got food. Amber Gris. Basilisk Collar. The reason Basilisk Collar is not in this deck, guys, I know, I know I'm going to get crap about it. But it's because it's a rare and I didn't want to craft it. I have to craft it because I don't have it. But feel free to include it in your deck if you decide to export this deck. Uh, let's play the Mind Stone. Could play the Ember Cleave. That way we'll have it on the field. Cleansing Nova, he, what's, what's this? So he has lifelink, right? So he's going to gain that life back. I don't really feel threatened by board right now. I'm just going to play Ember Cleave. Call it a day. Binding. So what's he going to bind? Yep, that is a great card to bind. Okay, we got a land. Let's play this on the white side. Let's play Aster. I know we don't have any protection for him. Batterbone gives us lifelink, but we can do this little number here. If we had one more mana, we could crew this. Oh, but we can. No, we can't because we have to attack. We have to tap the caravan. I was gonna say we can we could two-handed axe, but it's gonna it's just gonna die. So we do this. Boom. All that life. This is what makes Aster so crazy, and it's like, you can play the really good vehicles, you can play the really good equipments, and you don't even have to play Tron, um, which, if you guys didn't know what Tron was, Tron is basically building up one creature. No way. So I guess we sack the Mind Stone then. Basically building up one creature to be really strong. So you don't really necessarily have to even do that with the Aster. You can kind of spread out your equipment. You can kind of spread out what you're doing pretty much with Aster. There we go. I don't know why he quit though. That was uh, pretty weird. Good games though.